this is my new old car. It's an MGB GT. My dad has had an MGB for as long as I've ever known. Longer than I've been alive. <laughs> and he used to take us out in the car. Um, his is a convertible, so it has a soft top roof. But I've always wanted my own vintage car in a cream with a hard top. For some reason, I just don't like soft tops. Well, I like them, but I don't like the idea of driving with my head on show. <laughs> So yeah, another weird quirk I have. But I just fell in love with this car straight away when I saw it the other day and I was like, uh -oh. <laughs> My dad's been helping me fix little bits like um, the headlights and we recently redid the seat I'm sitting on. So we kept all the same covers. We just changed the foam inside and the diaphragm and the backboard. So it now, it's very upright. Like the passenger seat is very squishy too. <laughs> but we didn't bother doing the passenger seat because I, I don't want to spend huge amounts of money. Um, I want to be very sensible with this car. It's just a bit of fun. And I want to keep it looking as nice as possible, but the seat's very comfy squishy. You just can't really see out the front very easily. <laughs> So yeah, we fixed that and still need to fix the radio and there's a few other things like I need to re-staple some of the back bits of upholstery in the car but its state is legal to drive now so that's good and I haven't given it a wash yet so I'm going to do that today. I've just seen there's a random hairpin in here for some reason. That wasn't the air the other day and an old 50p coin, so dad must have found those when he was doing something in this car. And I'm gonna buff up the chrome on the outside as well, it's got chrome bumpers. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and you can watch me clean my car. And then I'm sure I'll film some of the clips and bits and bobs of this car. This video is gonna be very random, it's just gonna be like a amalgamation of some real random bits. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it. And. Yeah, I just thought I wanted to share all of this with you guys because it's a very exciting moment for me. Tastes good. <laughs> finished clean and wax Whee. so when I bought the car it actually came with some photos in the car history folder which I just think is so nice and lots of these are dated 1997 which is the year I was born and this one was on the 18th of August 1997 and my birthday is on the 18th of September 1997 and I have a spare photo album from Paper Chase that is just clear I'll take this backing off so I'm going to put the photos in here and then any other photos I take off the car now I can add to this and yeah it'll be a nice little book to look at so ideally i need to order these first really see which ones i'd want at the front so i need to find a good front cover photo <laughs> well, here's ones of the engine that's a bit blurry so i don't know if i necessarily need all of the engine but i can put like two on top of each other and put them in those are quite good ones oh they're so cute That's when the engine had been taken out. That's a nice one. Let's give one to you. That's 
the back seat there, which you can't really see to human, <laughs> and the boot. Another one of the engine, and the engine, and that's a nice one of the interior. Hmm. So I'm going to put that in. So they just peel back and they stick to the inside. And then GT. A few spaces. There we go. And then I'm just going to stick that down there. So this is what my front page looks like and then I chose the photo at the back and an interior shot and then I really liked these ones at the airfield, I thought those looked very retro. And then another one of the car, full length and one of the boot and I think, oh no, and then two of the engine. Now I've got a little bit more space to add my own little bit of history to the car, which I think is really nice. So I've just been on my first trip out in the car and it's definitely a very different driving experience. It's not half as easy to drive as a normal car is, um, but I'm getting the hang of it. It's just going between the gears, like going down between the gears is the little tricky bit for me because the speed has to be right with the gears and like a normal car, but it's just a bit less. Um, tolerant of that sort of thing. So yeah, I took some Polaroids. I haven't seen how they've turned out actually. Oh, they're very dark. I took a few Polaroids when we went up to take photos of the car. This one is super cute. They all turned out quite dark, but this one is me in my car. And then I've got one of the interior, one of the car, one, another one at the front of the car, and then one back of the car. So yeah, I'm very excited to go out on little trips in this car. I could go out with my parents with their cars because um, they've got a red MG and a blue MG. So it'll be like red, white and blue. <laughs> and yeah, there's not much more to add now. I'm going to go and take some pictures of these Polaroids and edit this video and upload for you guys. And then I'm probably going to do some little trips out in this car. So if you guys want to see like a trip out in this go for a picnic or something then comment down below because I would love to do that. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below if you did and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!